Welcome back to the latest edition of Muhlenberg College Plays of the Week. We begin at number 15 at the end. The end of the women's lacrosse win against Delaware Valley. Freshman Melissa Pierpont, who normally plays on the other end of the field, weaves through the Del Val defense to score her first career goal. At number 14, softball against Franklin and Marshall, first game of the doubleheader. And at senior Sarah Karmazin, blasting this three-run homer over the fence in left field, her second career home run. At number 13, men's lacrosse turning defense into offense against ninth-ranked Dickinson. Off the shot at senior Kyle Lambda with the ground ball, he passes to freshman Blaze Conlon, who passes to sophomore Wyatt Malia, who feeds junior Connor Rieblin, who scores his first career goal. At number 12, great defense by the softball team in the second game of the doubleheader at Dickinson. Bottom of the third with the score tied, double to deep left field, it's senior Kristen Oberg to freshman Caitlin Berman to senior Jenna Cicchetti to cut down the runner at home plate. At number 11, senior Abby Dalton was way ahead of the field, the first time she ever ran the 5,000 meters this past weekend at the Moravian Greyhound Invitational, her time of 1749.94, won by 48 seconds, and is the best time in the metro region this season. At number 10, men's lacrosse junior Jack Kramer tied a season high by scoring four goals against ninth-ranked Dickinson. Kramer is third on the mules with 18 goals this season. At number 9, going, going, gone. We've seen it from Jonathan Toth before, but never at a minor league park. This one at Coca-Cola Park. It's the ninth home run of the season for Toth. That ties a school record for shortstops set 40 years ago. At number 8, closing seconds of the Dickinson game. Muhlenberg ahead by one, and here comes Dickinson looking to score the tie-in goal. But it's junior Grace Bruther forcing the turnover along the sideline. The Mules run out the clock for their ninth win of the season. At number 7, quick reflexes on the mound by senior Will Nomura, diving to catch this bun attempt at Coca-Cola Park. At number 6, you couldn't draw it up any better than this. Freshman Emily Vaughn with 13 draw controls in the women's lacrosse 16-15 win against Dickinson, four short of the school record, and tied for the most by a Centennial Conference player this season. At number 5, senior Cora Bridgers was named Centennial Conference Pitcher of the Week after tying a career high with 12 strikeouts in the Mules' win against FNM in the second game of the doubleheader. Bridgers pitched all 11 innings to get the win, the 23rd of her career. At number 4, sophomore Dylan DeMagistris broke the school record in the hammer, a record that had stood for 37 years. His mark of 155-7 is the new school record. At number 3, it's 3 goals and 25 seconds for women's lacrosse against Dickinson. First, it's junior Samantha Einan with the unassisted goal, then off the draw at sophomore Nicole Steiner, then Steiner feeds senior Madeline Dill. 3 goals and 25 seconds to turn an 8-8 tie into an 11-8 mule lead. At number 12, bottom of the 13th inning at Coca-Cola Park, junior Caleb Tereska on first, and it's senior Thomas Rogers with a short single to center field. Tereska tries for third, and when the throw gets away, the Mules have a walk-off win, 4-3 in 13 innings. And winning in extra innings on a throwing error is pretty cool, but how about winning on a home run? Against Franklin and Marshall's second game of the doubleheader, sophomore Jillian Zach homers in the first inning. That stood up as the Mules' lone run until the top of the 11th, when Zach hits this two-run homer, her second home run of the game. She's the ninth player in Muhlenberg softball history to hit two home runs in the game. The Mules go on to win 5-2 and sweep their doubleheader. Zach was named Centennial Conference Player of the Week. That's our number one play of the week. A reminder, you can nominate plays for Plays of the Week at MuhlenbergSports.com slash nominate plays. Thanks for watching, and go Mules!